Hello everyone, this is Tony Kwan, the Trophy Wine Hunter, and this is my latest review, which is the Louis Martini 2017 uh, Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, I'm just zooming in on the label. It says, since 1933, we'll explain that. And that's the cork. Okay, a little bit about this wine and the winery. So first, the wine. It's a blend. It's mostly Cabernet Sauvignon. It's 83% in this vintage, 83% Cabernet Sauvignon, 11% Petit Syrah, and a little bit of Merlot, uh, Petit Verdot, and Malbec. And so um, it's, it changes every, in, every vintage a little bit different. Um, it's 16 months in oak, both French and American oak, and about 27% of that is new oak. A little bit of statistics. It, I mean, the most important thing is does it taste good? And so that's really for me the most important thing. But there's a little bit of numbers for you. Um, they are uh, the history of this winery goes back to as the label says 1933 when they built the winery. Previous to that, Louis M. Martini actually came over from Italy with his family, and so they built they set the establishment date of this winery at 1933. They um, have a lot of firsts. They were the first winery in 1951 to um, use windmills to uh, cool the grapes and the vineyards. Um, then um, in 1970, they were the first one among the first wineries that used Merlot as a single variety grape. Um, they've always passed it on from generation to generation. And so a Martini has always been the chief winemaker until 2002 when Gallo, another big company, purchased it. And in 2013, Michael Eddy became the first winemaker of Louis Martini um, that was not named Martini. So uh, very storied history, old type winery established um, in the classical style of winemaking and very much like um, Camus and the, the family there. Uh, you can see my video on that also. Okay, let's get to the tasting of this wine. On the color, it is a dark red, um, very vibrant red, and so youthful. On the nose, I get um, lots of obviously fruit, um, but I would say as compared to, if you watch my video of the Camus, I'll compare a lot to Camus. Um, it's more like mulled fruit, not ripe fruit. Um, and I do smell almost some incense or some smokiness. Yeah, a lot of, a, a lot, and a little bit of vanilla actually at the, at the ed edge of this. But, um, lots of fruit on this for sure. Yeah, on the palate, same thing, very traditional style, very fruity, um, lots of plum, um, I would say raspberry, black currant, and cassis. And then the aftertaste, so this is a 15% alcohol wine. The aftertaste is where you see a little bit of astringency and the tannins come in. And the tannins are um, compared to Camus and Camus Special Selection, a little bit grainier and a little bit rougher. But really nice concentration. It's a very uh, well made wine in that even though it's 15%, you don't really feel the alcohol. I think it's because the fruit is actually quite nice also. So it's very balanced in that. You don't feel it at all in terms of, um, it's very smooth in terms of this taste. Um, I don't find it overly sweet, but it is fruity. Okay, here's my analysis of the wine. Um, this is Wine Spectator, it's 91 points. Uh, my rating, 89 points right now. I think it can improve. It is a very nice wine for the price. It's right now priced at BC Liquor Stores at $29.99. I think it's a really good wine for that price. Um, if you look at my other videos about um, Camus and Special Selection, they're much uh, higher priced 
And there is a reason for that. Um, if I'm comparing those wines to this one, um, they're both in this very similar style. These are classic styles. They blend grapes. Some people think that, uh, you know, they're manipulating, but I really like their style because they use whatever they need, um, the grapes that they have uh, for that year, whichever is best, and blend a certain style. The style of the wine is very um, fruit forward, uh, but not, but very still very elegant. So as compared to newer uh, Napa wineries, which are just bold, lots of flavor, lots of tannin, lots of alcohol, these are very sophisticated, I find. Um, it's a high alcohol content, but you don't feel it. It's so smooth. The blend is so nice. And there's an art in that. Like some people might say this is manipulating wines, but I, it's an art form, right? To blend it to a certain style of the house. And Louis Martini is a very established winery. Um, they also make higher end wines, but this is a great wine for the price, for $29.99. Um, if you ask me what's the difference between this wine and maybe a Camus or a Camus Special Selection, why would it be more expensive the other ones? The other ones, um, I find, as I said in the, my tasting, this is more mulled fruit. It's fruity, but mulled fruit, whereas um, the Camus and Camus Special, Special Selection are more ripe fruits, like more a little bit more vibrant, has a little bit more acidity, I'd say. Um, the tannins also are a little bit more refined in Camus and Camus Special Selection. This, I find them a little bit chalky and grainy, and the aftertaste, you do see a little bit of tannins and astringency. Having said that, it's a wonderful wine for the price, um, not knocking it at all. Uh, I think it's a great producer, um, and I think they have a great story. What a history. Since 1933, they've been producing wines. They are very much a quality producer, so I do recommend this wine at this price. Until next time, happy drinking.